your time and honor that you're here. So this is a RTP Fit Meditation, and it is brought to you by The Frontier at RTP. It's a series that runs from May through the end of September. So today's session and next Tuesday. Ah, so, yeah, it's bittersweet that, um, yeah, we have today and we have next week. Welcome, Shari. Um, yeah, so just a big deep bow to the frontier and the program uh, director and coordinators, Amanda and um, Alicia, for bringing this series to us and to have, allow me to be with you each week from May to September. And each week we have a different uh, topic, and today we're focusing um, on joy and peace and inviting the higher frequency emotions of joy and peace into our lives. Inviting these higher frequency emotions of joy and peace into our hearts, our minds, and into our bodies. Holistically inviting the emotional energies in. And maybe you know this, or maybe this is new to you. that our emotions have energies, vibrations, or frequencies that can depress us or elevate us. They can be destructive forces that contract our bodies, hearts, and minds, and keep us small, keep us defensive and closed off. And these, these emotions with the lowest vibrations include uh, shame, uh, guilt, and apathy. And can you relate to how uh, you feel in your heart, mind, and body when you're feeling ashamed, guilty, or apathetic? And if you were to um, embody these emotions right now, you, you might sense what? Your, your shoulders might curl inward, your hair, head might droop, your, your spine might droop forward. And in your mind, you might um, fall into victimhood, blaming, blaming others for your situation and the way you feel. And in your heart, you might feel hopeless or helpless. And can you sense how emotions are resonant? We start to talk about feeling ashamed and suddenly we're right back into uh, reliving some shameful event in our lives, rehashing, feeling miserable, humiliate, humiliated. It's contagious. Knowing this, noticing this is key. Just as we can sink, we can rise. We can rise to the highest frequencies of love, joy, and peace. We can rise to the highest frequencies of love, joy, and peace. Now the highest vibration is enlightenment, and maybe you've slipped into this frequency. It's where we sense that powerful inspiration. It's said to be the attractor energy field that influences all of mankind where our spiritual figures reside, Lord, Buddha, Allah, Krishna, Jesus Christ. The emotion frequencies shift from destructive or um, negative to creative and positive when we move from acceptance, reason, and reason meaning using our frontal cortex to reason. Come in. Excuse me. Welcome. Just take a seat. I'm talking about joy and peace and the, how it's an energetic um, emotional frequency and how we have the low frequencies and we have the higher frequencies. And then we'll move into a meditation on peace and joy. Yeah, so we have the lower emotional um, frequencies like um, apathy or guilt and shame. And then we have the higher frequencies of love, peace, and joy. And so we can, we can sink and we can rise just as easily. And so in the lower frequencies, there's negative and destructive and we can shift into the positive frequencies. Um, uh, yeah, all good, all good. So this virtual 
here and in and in zoom is like it's a dance it's a dance so we just flow with it so um when we talk about the higher frequencies of um of love it's this uh, pure love of um truth true happiness true acceptance intuition and it's a love that dissolves negativity the joy that we speak of is an effortless joy it's a synchronistic joy it's an individual joy that's in sync with divine joy so our individual will is merged with divine will like thy will be done and it's a joy that affects others in a significant way when we talk about peace this is a transcendent peace it's god conscious that contributes greatly to the world. So maybe you've experienced this great joy and peace in your life. Maybe you can tap into it and sense it right here and now. So these higher vibrations are just as easily accessible as the lower vibrations. And when we tap into the higher and live in the higher vibrations of joy and peace, it allows us to experience greater personal power. Life comes more easily. We don't have to force things. It allows us to feel lighter in our emotional body, our physical body, our mental body. We experience more clarity, more joy, more peace, more love. Our life flows more easily, more synchronistically, and we more easily manifest what we desire. Overall, our life is more positive, more purposeful, more joyful, more peaceful. We attract more joy and peace. And by intentionally calling in more joy and peace, we raise our energetic vibration and we're able to sustain this higher frequency. Living in the higher frequency supports our increased uh, self-awareness, mindfulness, authenticity, loving kindness, compassion, equanimity. So if you're not already in your meditation position, let's wiggle into it. And you might want to adjust the height of your chair so that both feet can easily be um, connected to the earth. And you might want to just wiggle yourself into a comfortable position, whether you're seated or lying down. And just notice your spine, wiggle it into alignment, resting your hands in your lap or on your thighs. Just sense your feet connected to the earth. And allowing the next few breaths to be a little bit deeper and slower than normal. Just connecting with your breath. Connecting with your breath wherever it is that you most easily sense. Wherever you most easily sense your breath, whether it's in your belly, your chest, the back of your throat, your nostrils. And now I invite you to bring into your mind a time in your life, a situation, a memory where you were in complete joy and peace. And don't complicate this memory where it's dependent on other people. Just keep it 
relatively simple and accessible. You're just simply in the highest vibrations of peace and joy, that effortless divine joy, that transcendent peace. And just allow yourself to be fully in that moment. And just help yourself to start to have an experience of peace and joy and all the various qualities of peace and joy. And help yourself stay with it. Allowing yourself to rest in this joy and peace. And when your mind, heart, or body wander away from this state, returning to your breath, your home base. And kindly, gently coming back to rest in joy and peace. Deeply meditating on joy and peace. I invite you to even allow these feelings of joy and peace to become more intense. They might be subtle and yet you can infuse your mind with these sensations, these feelings, so your mind is almost entirely joy and peace. Letting yourself indulge yourself in joy and peace. And now enhancing and enriching this experience by bringing the sensations of joy and peace into your body. 
remembering what joy and peace feel like in your body, strengthening the sensations by bringing a smile into your eyes, bringing a smile into your mouth, your throat, your belly. Sensing a whole body smile. Perhaps placing a hand on your belly, a hand on your heart. Whatever enhances the experience for you in your body. You might further ex- enhance this experience with thoughts, mentally whispering, peace. Peace begets peace, joy. Joy. Joy is love. Whatever helps this experience be as rich as possible. Now I invite you to explore this memory or situation as if you're seeing it for the first time or perhaps through the eyes of a child. Can you notice or see something new, something fresh? 
Is there something in this experience of joy and peace that has a new sense of delight or surprise now that you examine it with the attitude of your don't know mind? And now become aware of how this experience is personally meaningful to you. How it's relevant, significant, and important to you. Why is it important for you to live in the higher vibrations of joy and peace? Why does it matter to you? Be aware of what matters to you about the experience you're having right here, right now. And notice what's here. Notice what's here and invite a sense of love, joy, and peace to sink into you, literally sink into your body in some way. The sensation may be like water sinking into a sponge or like light spreading inside you, radiating inside you, or it may be a sense of surrender, giving your whole self over to joy, giving your whole self over to peace, letting love, joy, and peace live fully in you. 
receiving love, joy, peace fully within you, letting it all into your full self. And now I invite you to become aware of what was enjoyable about this meditation experience. What feels rewarding and pleasurable about it. What's meaningful and significant to you about it. What's rewarding and meaningful about being joyful and peaceful? Rest in this awareness. Rest in joy and peace. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Next week is our last week, unfortunately, and we will be talking about appreciation and gratitude and such appreciation for all of you being here each week that you were able to and hopefully you can be here next week. Blessings. I'm here if you have any other questions or comments. Thank you. And I And if you have your phone and can sign in here, thank you, Summer. If you don't, that's okay. Thank you, Summer. Thank you, Shari. Thank you, Ellison. 
Is that the Ellison that I know? If it's close by, that'd be great. Okay, thank you.